Okay, so Eli is going to help me open this box that we just received from Jensen USA. Yeah. So what these are are my uh, 510 free rider shoes. Yeah. Um, and I shopped around online forever and yeah. I was really discouraged by the price of some of the shoes. Yeah. Uh, and they were 150 bucks. Um, most of the 510s were 150 bucks. These I found for a hundred dollars. Yeah, for dad's bike. That's right. So I looked at lots of other shoes before picking these. Um, for a while, I didn't want to spend the price, so I was looking at Vans. So for sixty bucks, I can get a pair of Vans shoes. But what I found researching them is um, that the soles don't last very long, and that I should really but splurge you for need the extra money. money. To buy things. You do need money to buy things. That's because correct. Because your money, the work was so you can't have this. Yeah. And you can't bring it home. So. Lose your money. Because the workers need money to get things. That's right. Down. Yeah, you've been listening and to me, course. haven't you? So I did try in the van shoes. I went to the outlet store near me yeah. and I tried them on. They were very comfortable. But what I read about is they're not as stiff and supportive as these, uh, which are really like pro or expert um, mountain bike shoes intended for that purpose to protect your feet. All right, so let's see. Normally I have really bad luck when I buy shoes online because they never fit. They're too big or too small. So I decided to just do it because um, there's really no place that stocks this sort of thing in any, any of the local bike shops. Um, so let's see what we got. Yeah. Open, the box. Open the box. Oh, I got mail here too, under my box. Okay, so here we go. These are, woo, very nice. They look much more red than I thought, which is great because. We didn't know look what red. Is that extra shoelaces? What is that? I don't know. Hmm. Uh, I think it's extra shoelaces. That's really cool. So that's good to know. Um, so I actually love the way these look more so than online because they look. look yeah, they looked very maroon online, and in person they're much more red, which what, matches my bike. What does this sound like? <laughs> oh yeah that's right yeah and that's what's great about these they're, they give you more support they're they're a lot more supportive than regular shoes I like the way they were wrapped up it looked like we were it looked like we we're unwrapping a burger oh that's to hold the shape of the shoe there's another one in here see so let's see look let's look at these look at the bottom they have that sticky rubber yeah. Ooh, they look really good this is the stealth rubber Ew, look at that. that's like full. and that's that's basically so they won't slip off your pedal very nice it feels much more solid and stiff it can't, it can't, uh, you can't really flex it see my shoes that i already that i had were these cheap avia shoes and the, the cleats on or the spikes on the pedals were ripping holes in the shoes. I should show what that looks like. But these are much tougher rubber, so they should last a long time. So, so far I'm really happy. They look great. So I think what we'll do, Eli, is Daddy will have to try them out. And then... You know what? We could try these while we're riding our bikes. I'll try them when I ride my bike. I think we will. If you broke this, you broke this shoe ties, you can just lose the other shoe, the other coat. Yeah? Ties. Cool. Like so, so, Eli, I think what I'll do is I'll try them tonight, and then I'll try them tomorrow on the trails, and then after I've ridden them a little while, I'll tell the people online how I like them. So maybe I'll have to wear them for a month and see how they hold and up. And people will actually beat them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. So what do you like about these shoes? Do you like them? You like the red? Yeah. All right. So I'll move these out of the way. Okay. Actually, let me take the box out of the way too. Throw that over there. 
All right, so, so let's talk. What do we like about these shoes? Um, I like the really solid uh, heat, sole. It doesn't and seem to want to flex. Like That's it. good. And I like it because it comes with this, this, this shoe tie. It's yeah, tie. it comes with... And yeah, I love the red and the black. The black is soft right here. Yeah. But here where it's red is very hard, so it'll protect my toes. Right? So if I hit a stump or something... It'll protect my toes but from getting broken. Ago, you just fell in the water. Oh, I did fall in the water. That's right. Like yeah. Water, like I fell in a swamp. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Okay. So what else? I think that's it. Let's try them. We'll try them after this. After we eat I'm supper. No. But you know what? We'll try. I'll try them. Okay. Don't fall off. Yeah, it'll just fall right off. Yeah. Yeah. No, but put it like this. It'll go off. So. See this? So if we put it like that, it won't fall. Yeah. So let's just. If you don't have this ball, it'll fall. Okay, so it's been almost three months now, and how do I like them? Now that I've ridden them in the trails, I ride probably two or three times a week, a good 20 miles each time, and I was really surprised that they don't look worn at all, really. Um, they're a little dirty right now, but I've gotten these things completely covered in mud, uh, and I hose them off outside. I, I don't run them through the laundry because I was afraid it would shorten the lifespan of them, so I, I just hose it off in the hose and then I set them in the sun to dry out. And uh, you know, and it's held, holding up really, really nicely. The stitching on, oops, the stitching on here is really solid. Um, no pitting at all from the cleats on the, or the spikes on the pedals, uh, which I was really impressed with. And it truly does grip. I mean, I, you know, I didn't really believe it until I, until I actually used them and, and compared them to my sneakers. And, um, it really does grip you feel really confident and what that's really important when you're landing off of jumps and you know going over obstacles and whatnot okay this is a great exaggeration but uh i'll show you with this croc this is what it feels like wearing regular shoes when you land off of jumps uh, it's an exaggeration of course but it feels like you're doing this and you can feel your shoe kind of flex I didn't really even notice this until I had the new shoes and felt how solid they are. Um, the other thing, if I turn this to about 45 degrees, the shoe slides off. So look at this, with the same shoe, about 45 degrees, it sticks. It's like glue. How far till it falls off? Well, let's do a little bit. Oh, then it falls off. Of course, if I had the weight of my body on it, it really digs these the rubber into these cleats and it's even more sticky. Um, and as far as flex, I mean, barely anything at all. It just feels really solid when you're, when you're landing on jumps and it really does give you confidence. So overall, I absolutely love these free riders and I actually like them so much. I'm probably gonna get another pair in a different, different color. Maybe I'll get the black ones, which will go nicely with my Enduro. So highly recommend them, big thumbs up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.